Hello Excelers and welcome. Thanks for joining me today for another how to excel at excel.com Excel tip video. Don't forget to click on the subscribe button below to get notified when there's a new Excel tip available here on my YouTube channel. And if you want to sign up for the how to excel at excel newsletter which gives you three free Excel tips every month direct to your inbox there's a link below in the description box there um, and when you sign up you'll get my free ebook which has got my top 30 Excel tips. Hi Excelers, welcome to my next video. Today I'm going to show you how to open your Excel an Excel workbook as a copy of the original workbook. This is great if you need to keep the original intact and you don't over you don't want to overwrite the original one. So this is great if in case you might hit save instead of save as to rename the file. So let's take a look at an example. So I've got an Excel workbook here with some sales data and every day I update the workbook. So I could hit file save as and rename it, but I also by accident could just hit save and then I don't have the original sales till the 20th of November. Now in this case it wouldn't really matter, but if you've got an important Excel workbook and you don't want to overwrite the original, this is the Excel trick that will help you. So let's open that sales workbook as a copy. So we hit file, file open and then browse, then navigate to your Excel workbook. In this case it's in my desktop Excel. Select, select, the, select the file, but don't double click. And the area you want to go to is open here. And there's a few options open open as a read-only copy copy protected view and repair and the one we want is open as a copy so we're now working on a copy of the original so i could go ahead and update my so i could go ahead and update my excel workbook with today's sales If I hit save, the original is safe because this one is called copy, but I can go ahead and hit save as, and then I can rename it. I can rename it in the same naming convention as I usually use and hit save. That's it for today's video. If you like, if you like the Excel tip, consider subscribing, uh, hit the notification bell and give it a thumbs up. It really does help the channel and I'll see you next time for another how to excel at excel.com video.